Well, what is going on guys? It is Squabble here and today I'm going to be showing you two replays of this new deck that I've been using that has helped me quite well. First I'm just going to open up these chests and not get really anything because you never get anything from your free chests or silver chest. It sucks! But here, I'm going to show you this one. I've won three in a row from this one, but one of them that no one was actually playing, that's going to be in my next video. I'll show you. It's pretty funny if you check it out probably tomorrow or something. But this is the deck I'm using. The Goblin, Archer, Minion, Spear Goblin, Fireball, Skeleton, Goblin Barrel, and Dragon. I'm going to show you this one. I won three crowns to one here. Uh, and as you all know, to start up, I normally save, I save, 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 until I get 10, or close to 10, because you never want it to be at 10 for too long, because you could have just put something out and have it keep rising, as this guy's done right here. I don't know what he's thinking he's doing, so he, he didn't drop anything as my dragon started attacking, so I decided to push. I decided to push and push and push and... I'm done really well right here, really well. I don't, I don't know if this guy was AFK or what right now, but his towers end up destroying all of my troops, and there he finally chucks in a witch. I don't know if he was just waiting for that time to throw in a witch or something, but like, that was the stupidest thing ever. Like, let a tower get just Never, never do that, guys. Never do that. That is just stupid. But he does, he does come back quite well right here. I will say that if they if they use a prince for this hand, it, it, it's kind of hard to attack when he's got to, I mean, to take him down when he's got other things. So I'm saving up right now so I can chuck my dragon in because that was the only thing that could probably take down the prince well. He's dropped in a giant. I was actually pretty scared right here. I was like, oh no, oh no, wow, not today, Jumbo. Not today. He's dropping in things in my side of the court. I was freaking out. I was like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? But then, here we go. I just saw this line of opportunity and was chucking things in left, right, and center. So as you can see, this this hand is like quite quite well because you always will be able to drop things in because nothing ever really costs too much like the max thing is four I might try another thing soon with everything under three if I get more things like that so if you want to see that make sure you leave a like and let me know in the comment section below if this this helps you it's pretty good pretty good but yeah like, again i was freaking out again right here because he had a prince and a giant and, and a witch and dropped in a pecker so i'm like oh my gosh but then i get two dragons on my side somehow it's pretty much close to max health dragons one's at half one's at four i was like oh yeah this is it this is it and the guy i've never realized the golden barrel looks like the razor symbol <laughs> But yeah, and this is where I knew I had it in the bag. I was like, oh yeah, this is it. Oh yeah, this is it. This is the win. And that is the win. So that's my 2.8 Alexa deck. I'm going to go ahead and show you another replay. Not, not cards. I'm going to show you another. This one I only won by one crown, but I held off so good on this one. And this one, you'll be able to see how good this card can hold off to attacks, just like the last one. But I don't get crowned on this one. So I just decided with this deck just to push, just unleash. Unleash. Unleash everything mixed up with ground and air troops. This, this deck is probably best to use with a few air troops, obviously, because you don't want all ground troops or what not. But again, it is very good and very effective because you can just always be dropping down shit. So, my archers, here we go. Get killed, obviously. My baby dragon's gonna come in. He's gonna drop a spear hut. So, I'm just gonna decide to fireball that. The best thing to do with the fireball, if they drop it like that, always try and get the circle to hit the crown tower and the spear hut so you don't just target one thing, target both things and you can take damage out of both things. 
So my goblins are gonna go to work. <laughs> They're gonna get destroyed by that nightmare. So I'm saving up again. I'm gonna save up for this little dragon. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out the dragon right now. I'm glad I have minions on these prints right there because that's just perfect. The prince is so crazy. I was pretty scared then, but I was, I'll not lie, I was pretty scared. He's gonna drop a giant. I'm just gonna decide to the goblin barrel because their crown tower is focused on my dragon, so I thought a goblin barrel could get that crown. And I was freaking out again right here. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna get destroyed right here. So I see it. I dropped in the goblin. And the skeletons, which are two, which equals three legs up. Which got rid of that giant before it could take down my crown tower. So now it's in double XP. And again, I was a bit scared. <laughs> but the, that's, the, that's the good thing about this about this deck. Like, if they chuck in things, you can just chuck in so many things and it can destroy them. Like, just there, I got in two sets of troops right there and they went to town got a dragon and some speed goblins behind it now i'm going to try and get 30 seconds left goblin barrel i was trying to get that three crowns but i got very close but i just could not get it i was really hoping something could we could take out a bit more damage on it and then i can just fireball i'm saving that fireball but, but yeah, that is basically that battle. I was scared there too. I was actually kind of hoping that he got that fireball so we can go into overtime because I could have flogged him, just chucked that golden barrel and then the fireball in there. But yeah, that is basically it for the 2.8 Alexar deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, a rating, and subscribe for weekly well, not weekly, sorry, daily content on Clash Royale and all other PlayStation 4 games. So, yes, if you liked it, please leave a like. And, yeah, peace out, everybody.